going to start this off. Welcome to the show. It's not a bunch of fucking bullshit. It's not Shut up! I hate you so much. Shut the fuck up, Donnie. Dude, I fucking hate that. Welcome, my friends, and my special friend here. Welcome to Things I Hate 42. Holy fuck, what a day for me. I will get into it. I'm the most stressed at work I've ever been in my life. But before I talk about anything about me, I want to welcome the very gracious, very polite Eddie Overgold and uh, host of Atlanta's number one dating and relationship podcast, Waving the Red Flag, which is a fantastic name, by the way. I really like that. Appreciate you. That, that, there was a lot of uh, focus group work that went into that. Cheers to you. Hey, cheers. What's up? Now, the reason I gave you... Hey, oh, a cor- minor correction. Please. Number one dating podcast in the universe, including but not limited to Atlanta. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. That's an inclusive list, not an exclusive list. <laughs> the, the reason I chose those adjectives to introduce Eddie with is because yes. I feel the need to share a, a failing of mine. And the failing has been on my part, organizing Eddie come on. Eddie was gracious, gracious enough to have me on his show. I had a blast. And it took me far too long to get him on here. And I was disorganized and I, I messed up. So I feel like I should take ownership in front of the public in order to, you know, just to, 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 to pay amends or whatever. So I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry that it took me so long. I'm sorry I was so disorganized. I apologize. You, know, apologize. you should send cupcakes or something. That would really make everything a lot better. But, you know, there's no way to do that really yet. yet. In my I guess you mind, can make them. In my guilty mind, the thought crossed my mind. I was like, fuck, maybe I should look up like some shop near him. But then ah. I'm like, I'd have to ask you for your address. And I know it's on the episode that didn't air, you're like, yo, I don't fucking tell people shit. And I was like, okay, well, he's not going to tell my address. So I, that yeah. address so. I, can, I, can, I can tell you my P.O. box, though. You can send my office to the P.O. box. Boom. There you go. I'll send fucking something. I don't know what. Yo, fuck all that, that bullshit. It's great to see you. I just want to say yes, again, as well. it was so much fun on your show. So. Yeah. Great to have you, bro. Thanks for coming on mine. We're officially a bunch of fucking podcast jerk off losers. You want to come on show? And nobody does it better. I was talking to one of my co-hosts the other day and we were just doing some bullshit. We were trying to set up or test some equipment or some shit. And we were just, you know, bullshitting. And we were like, he goes, man, we should be getting recorded at all times. And I was (laughs) like, you're not wrong we're just some pretentious dickheads <laughs> so nobody should have gave us mics they should have never made mics cheap enough for poor people to buy them <laughs> and now we're overconfident uh, you guys are good though man the discussions you I, have hey look i agree everyone says it but it's true when i say it <laughs> and dude i gave you a shout out last time but i have to give you a shout out again i think you're probably the the person I know personally with the best vocabulary, and I pride myself mm. on my vocabulary. I think you might have a better vocabulary than me. I think Alvin is probably better than me in, in no terms of, in terms of my. Oh, absolutely. He's 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 much. He's he's not. He stumbles over his words, but he's significant, like orders of magnitude smarter than me. Fuck in terms of Alvin talking words. No oh, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Yeah, I, I don't know how much of the podcast you've listened to. He's he's. I'm clever. He's a, he's an actual smart person. Damn. Damn. Okay. Like a like a, a proper educated expert in multiple fields type of guy. Alvin is is one of the co-hosts of Waving the Red Flag. Just you know. Right oh now. yes, to the to the people. That's yeah. that's. That. Okay, yo, let's fucking. Oh, that's I'll tell. I'll brain. just tell about my day quickly. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Tell us about. So yeah. it's your show, man. I'm just I work. <laughs> I work in tech support, but at my company, I work for like high level, like mm. the white glove, the VIP guys. So I get to work some. What cool the fuck clients. does white glove mean? That's it like that's like. like corporate jargon i don't know you got to bring no, me into the industry no, it's like it's like very good service so like white glove movers, oh, yeah they will like, like butlers when they like they like yeah. dust it with the shit and they got the white gloves exactly, ah exactly. yes silver so, platters I see. yeah exactly so i do that for like so one of the the the, uh, the companies i get to work with is the montreal canadians and hmm. as you know well maybe you don't, i didn't fucking know but they just made it to the playoffs which is a huge deal because they're the first canadian team in like the quarter of a, what sport is this hockey hockey so. okay <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah i'm right there with you you know what i'm saying i'm right there with you because you know? he just but, said the team and i was like i was gonna play along like i knew it like yeah yeah but then i was like fuck is he talking about baseball is this basketball no, soccer no. Pele, like what are they playing? <laughs> I'm I'm not 
a sports guy. So I'm like, okay. I'm talking like Montreal Canadiens. Literally only because I live in Canada do I know what they mean. If I was outside, okay. Canada, I'd be like, fuck. I don't give a fuck about sports. But anyway. I'm right there with you. They got to the finals of the hockey playoffs, I'll say. It's called the Santa Club Finals, but just the hockey playoffs. And okay. It's the first Canadian team to do it in like a quarter of a century, I think. So it's a huge fucking deal. And so Montreal is going nuts. Wait, I wait, manage. Wait. Sorry, they, let me, let me they, wait. okay, yeah, let go me, ahead. Let me uh, wait, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So I managed. Just trying to get context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I managed the website and the website <laughs> yeah. is obviously being bombarded. So I'm not going to get into it because I don't know about like, you know, fucking security and shit, but like, it's just like hitting the fan essentially. And we had to talk to them. There was like hour long phone calls and like, everybody had to get involved and shit so it's just like it's a big deal so that's why i was late so apologies but yes context what do you want to know uh fuck i don't even remember it wasn't anything important it was something about what the what the fucking sport was or some shit anyway so it's also it's also like the homie who is kind of like my mentor in my job who's kind of supposed to be here for shit like this he's on vacation for two months so i'm the guy which is like dude i can handle the pressure but like you know my knowledge is maybe less oh what the fuck? my knowledge is maybe not as ideal as it would like be to be like the fucking guy you know what i'm saying to go to so a bit of gray glove service <laughs> fair enough I fuck you man but yeah <laughs> yeah one glove yeah, yeah. fingerless gloves fingerless gloves <laughs> fucking homeless yeah, yeah 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 homeless glove service yeah yo also shout crusty out, nails shout out to both of us on our sick fucking hair you got sexy ass hair i got sexy hair you know fuck you indeed indeed I, you know you know what my favorite type of compliment is the one where it's not a compliment it's just a brag but you you have to give well, the other dude, person one i could do both yeah, at no. once just let now it you happen. can't now you can't no you. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let you get away with that i'm not gonna Why? get you away with that because i because i know you turned on this camera with your with your fire red hair and we're like i cannot believe this fucking dickhead eddie has not complimented me oh. on my luscious mane yet how can i bring the attention to myself oh wait 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 okay so i can't say i have sexy hair but if i say compliments to him then we both get to have sexy hair but you're right it is very sexy look you look like you have fire powers okay <laughs> That's actually good. that's actually a good one. I like that a lot. I've been hearing Ronald yes. McDonald and Chucky, but I like that one. But uh, fine, man. You know what? Fuck my hair. Your hair. There we go. Shit. Your hair is nice though. Look at that volume. Holy Thank fuck. you. And it's, Thank how you. How long have you been growing that? Mm. Yes, yeah, I've been I've been working on my my curly girl journey. So curling creams and castor oil for my scalp and all kind of shit like that because it was locked before, and then so during lockdown i was able to like spend i think it, i i was spending like 11 to 15 hours a day just like picking through because it was like long it was like down to here of hair just picking it out until i could get like back to the initial original real hair and uh so yeah now i'm, I'm having to learn how to take care of long hair again it's wild it. It might get done yeah. by a shampoo company. You know what I mean? I'm I'm working on it. I'm learning more stuff. I wear a bonnet at night. I'm 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 talking oh, to my homegirls and stuff, like learning stuff. Those, yeah. When I see that shit, I I love it. It looks <laughs> like '50s housewife, but it's like cool. It's like oh, like I don't know what it does, but I'm like oh, that's cool. You know, so. Yeah, it protects the curls. You should you should you should you should grow your hair out and then and start wearing one. You know. I used to have hair to my shoulders, but yo, fuck all this shit. Ah, I want to hear. Yes, about, indeed. Um, yeah, fuck all of that shit. shit. Yeah, I want to hear about what you what you hate. I'm really curious. Okay, okay, the the, the list of hate things. Yeah. There's always something on the list, but since we're talking housing situ or not housing situations, but just shit that's stressing us out, the shit that I currently hate is the fucking like city councils. Trying to get anything solved by a fucking city council is goddamn impossible. So to give you context about like my living situation, I live above a fucking bar. It's loud as shit. Uh, a lot of times during the lockdown shit, it was fine. It was like quiet it was great then we got out of lockdown and then it was back loud we you know kind of have a little bit of back and forth conversation or whatever with the bar to like turn it down whatever these niggas say yo suck our fucking dicks all right we're gonna do whatever the fuck we want so then i'm like all right all right try to be amicable i'm going to the council i'm going to the police i'm just going full fucking karen i'm calling everybody i'm like gathering up testimonials from other nearby businesses and residents to complain about this fucking bar Man, I have been going through the fucking ropes for like two months trying to get something done. And the dude who sends them a fine on the phone talking to him yesterday, he's like, you know, actually, um, so we can fine them, but we don't actually have the power to make them pay the fine. 
And I was like, then that's not a fine. You're asking for a fucking donation in, t in exchange for them playing music too fucking loud. So you have no... Why the fuck was I wasting time talking to you? You actually have no power. So that's one of the shits that I hate. This, Dude, this is I, literally the most stressful thing in my life right now. I don't... I don't, like... First of all, yeah, for sure. I don't, like, do a lot of things just because the situation that you're describing is a phobia of mine. I don't want to go to the fucking government building and submit a form. And then I don't want to wait five weeks because I know I'm going to have to do all that work and it's probably going to mm. end up doing nothing. And I know it's like a shit attitude, but I just, you know, I don't want to renew my driver's license. I don't want to fucking call to make an appointment. <laughs> I, I'm like, no, like I'll just, I feel like it kind of happens with doctors and dentists too. It's like one of my teeth hurts right now. It's got a crack in it. I know. Cause last time I was at the dentist, she was like, you have a crack in that. And I just haven't called her back I'm about just gonna it. I just got to go to bed. Yeah. I just yeah. chew on the <laughs> other side. Like some fucking idiot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Like, yeah, exactly. And yeah. every time I get a little, like, that's a why I got seed. all these teeth, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time I get a seed on one side, I get, I'm like, oh, God, I should call that lady. And then I'm like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not a problem. So, yeah. Yeah, no, see, I'm very much a doer type of person when it comes to that type of shit. Like, I'm to really to a fault. It's, a, it's actually, it, it goes the other direction to where it's a problem because I'm every six months, I'm right at the dentist. I re renew my passport. Respect. I love, I love doing shit like that. Dude, that's hot. I love doing shit that's like hot. that. That's hot. But, yeah. oh, yeah, ladies love it. Yeah. But, Men love it too, honestly. Um, yeah, yeah. Evidence. First game but, moment right here for me. What's up? Hey, everybody loves a man who can run an errand. Because he can run. <laughs> Yo, put that on your gravestone. Something like, there's something there. There's something there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but the, it becomes a problem because sometimes I like will just dive into doing some shit that's a total fucking waste of time. Like, even with this thing, it's probably not going to do anything. I'll have spent hours and hours of work trying to like control and, you know, like, control the behavior of this bar and then just end up moving out and it's like fuck i should have just not wasted all of that time and energy and expense and anxiety trying to accomplish this task but i'm i will dive straight into a fucking task that's a waste of goddamn time dog i could see you have you thought about going into politics because i can see you politicking no problem you know what i mean oh yeah yeah, yeah. 20 2038 we're gonna do it 2038 we're gonna do it are you sure. fucking around though are you you know, I mean, I know that's far away, but I'm I'm being serious. I could see you ripping it, no sweat. I mean, look, I'm not. I I I do think. I'm trying to not answer too tongue in cheek here. Okay. I definitely think I could run some shit. You know what I mean? Thank you there's for not being. A, there's truthful. not like a position where you can run the whole earth, because I do think that I would be good <laughs> at that if that position existed, or if I could create that position. But genuinely, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I also I'm, I'm pissed that you live in Australia because I had to deal with this fucking time frame shit. Also, I just really want somebody to visit in Atlanta. I guess I could hit up uh, mm. Alvin or, you know, but um, but yeah, you, have you thought about moving back to the U.S.? So that you can visit me from Montreal? No. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Am I considered moving to another country so that one of my TikTok friends... Can visit me from his not even to Montreal. Just Yo, to give me more than a TikTok stamp. Give me more than a TikTok. Give me like podcast friend. You know what I mean? A little bit more. Podcast friend. Podcast. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. My comedian friend. Oh! That's better, right? That's better, right? Okay. Shut indeed, up. indeed, indeed, indeed. Shut up, man. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> so, okay, okay. My but, comedian buddy here. Yeah. No, no. Fuck but, me. Yeah. But have you thought about? Because you're, you know, I imagine you have a lot of family and friends in the states. So. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm, I never say never, of course, but no, not really. Not really. Um, it's, it's, it's not part in Australia? of the five-year plan in any real way. But, you know, it's not impossible. Like, a lot of shit can fucking change. Uh, there's there's so many things that can happen in the next six months, a year, two years, where I'm like, I, where I have to to do that, where I want to do that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. Shit, I mean, if, if the podcast blows up too heavy and I'm like, oh, we need to start doing live shows or whatever, then I'm like, oh, fuck, it makes more sense to move everybody to Atlanta. That's, I mean, there's no reason to believe that that's anywhere in the cars like super soon, but that's a thing that could happen. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I need to visit a place to stay too, so you can factor oh, that. Oh, yeah, no, of course, and then, you know, f Firehead. Yeah. Fire crotch head. We definitely fire, fire need. Head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it should be like uh, what's it called? Fireflower Mario. Fireflower Mario needs a place to stay. You know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll make sure that when we we all move to Atlanta at a big house, we'll have a room specifically for you. It won't be a guest room. It'll just be a Tom room. Oh, I don't know if that was a diss, but I took that very dear to my it's heart. It's not a. It's not okay, a diss. Okay. It's not a diss. It'll have a window okay. effect. <laughs> 
<laughs> it'll have a full window that you can look out of. Oh, look at that. I feel like um, like a fish in a bowl. And we'll even give them a little bit of uh, food there that you can eat sometimes. They'll even have one of those upside down water bottle things with the straw in it so you can, yeah, <laughs> some of that. Yeah. Yo, let's dip our feet a bit into your territory with waving the red flag. Okay. Let me get an update yes. on your lady situation. Oh, wait, how many, how, many things, how many things am I supposed to hate or do I get to hate? As many as you want, we can do, keep doing that. I'm just trying to. Keep, I want to hear about your. Well, ladies. The, I don't know the. I don't know the structure of the thing. So I mean, you. It's you. You, you the, lead, but the, the structure of the show is. Look, here's my fucking list. I only have a couple, yeah. so I have like four <laughs> at the <laughs> bottom. Like fifty things. No, no, no. But some of them are crossed out. See. <laughs> oh, I see. Because I, I already talked about them. So I have like those four Dirty at the clothes, bottom. Clothes. Step to respond. Wait. Not on envelope. Just. Dude. Disney princess. Oh, what do you have against Disney princesses, bro? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's um. I mean, you're right. I, no, I wouldn't disagree no. with you if this we were is, no Disney princesses. No, 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 no. This is – the first thing says I'm not an M, which stands for I'm not an environmentalist. I just prefer uh. pretty forests to junk mail. And then the second thing is Disney princesses banana sticker because I got a fucking bunch of bananas. And then uh -huh. on the, the sticker was not even a Disney uh. princess. It was like a side character from one of the Disney movies. And I was like – why the fuck? Like, we don't fucking need this on who's our bananas. Who's doing that branding? Yeah. Who I paid for that? Exactly. I was like... Like, who's buying bananas off of fucking side character NPC stickers? Yeah. What kid, kid is like, no, yeah. I want that banana. Kids don't even buy bananas in the first place. They buy fucking junk food. I've never seen a kid buy a banana. Yeah. That is that is not some shit. A kid has never said, Mom, I want a fucking banana. Maybe Islander kids, but generally speaking, kids are not buying fucking bananas. No, fuck you. That's racist, man. <laughs> I'm an Islander, so I get to say that. Ah. So that's so so that's racist, Fuck. actually. Uno, Uno, reverse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, no. And then the next, so it's like it's just all this stupid branding. And the last show I did, I talked about junk mail, and it was just like, you know, sometimes I think of myself as an environmentalist, but then you know, other times I'm just like, dude, I'm not an environmentalist. I just like leave the oceans clean so that I can drink and swim in them, and you mm. know, I, I will think trade you drink the ocean, bro. Fuck off. <laughs> I, look, I'm just saying, if we're going to fucking complain just let about me the do my, let's keep this fact straight. Let sorry, me do it. Sorry. <laughs> Shut up, Eddie. I don't need logic <laughs> in my fucking show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is how I feel when, when Alvin is correcting me directly. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it, it's like uh, passed down trauma, you know? Alvin's yes. like, actually, oh, Eddie. Yes. Actually. And you're like, actually, Tom. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, now you just got to find your butt boy who you can say, you know, well, actually, that's incorrect. Yeah, my fucking, uh, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but, uh, but yeah, so, like, you know, I want to breathe clean air. So, it's like, I feel like the envi environmentalist brand is a weird title because it's like, dog, doesn't everyone want to live in, like, a nice area? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, wouldn't you trade a dope forest for, like... Or wouldn't you trade shitty junk mail for a dope forest? Like that, I feel like that's an easy trade. You know what I mean? So it's like if I lived in the forest, absolutely. absolutely. Even if you didn't, well, well, you know, uh, you like junk uh, mail. I f fuck you. I fucking hate you for hesitating on this. You shit. I, Why I you like hesitating? Mail. I like mail. I like mail. If, oh, if someone you. else had to have a forest or I get to have mail, I'm choosing mail. You're a Sorry. contrarian. Fuck you. You I, don't like mail. I, people fuck say you. this and I'm I'm so not. Fuck you. I'm not. The guy likes junk mail. Come, you like junk mail? No, no, I don't like junk mail. But I like it, it, it's all mail. You don't lose, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know but what no, the I fuck don't. you're saying. I don't know what the fuck you're I don't I don't like about. junk mail, of course. Yeah. Of course I don't like junk yeah, mail, yeah, but yeah, I just yeah. feel like I feel like the whole environmental recycling shit is such a huge burden that's unduly put on individual citizens oh, yeah, who have preach. almost no fucking collective preach, power. Preach. And it just feels like so much of the shit that's like terrible is our life conveniences. And I look, maybe maybe this is like a no, I, I get you. Get into the going. taking advantage of the global south shit, but it's like, yo, I'm a poor person. I don't make any fucking money. Shit like Uber Eats and Amazon shit packages to my door and, you know, conven little conveniences and shit like that and not having to spend my little bit of non-working time separating the fucking glass from the plastic from the cardboard is like that's where I get to enjoy my life. Saying that I'm responsible for saving the goddamn rainforest just doesn't seem – it's like, fuck, really? I, I – me? Dude. Or I get minimal what I have to do it? It's, I don't know. Dude. May, and that, that might totally be stupid. I'm just playing with an idea. I don't know. But that's no, how it feels sometimes. No, no, no. That's not stupid. That's right on the fucking money. And the way I see it, like, 
Yeah, man. And it, it pissed me off because like I've had that thought so many times. And like when I order, because I order Amazon and Uber Eats, and Uber Eats comes in a fucking plastic bag. And oh, Amazon is a shit, shit company yeah. that has modern day slaves, you know. And when I order that mm-hmm. shit, I feel like a piece of shit. But then it's like, man, I'm so pissed that society, you know, aka the media, aka large corporations who control the media, have made me feel like this because they should are the ones that could have the impact. You, you could yeah. fix this shit, you fucking cunts. But instead, you choose to make. Disney princess banana stickers and send junk mail. And that's why I get pissed off at those things. Cause it's like dog. And Disney princess gets stuck in some fucking rabbit's asshole or whatever. You and make fucks th- up the environment. <laughs> I lost you for a second, but then I was with you. You make th- these fucking cunts, <laughs> these fucking CEO fucks make this decision at a high level and then guilt trip us for trying to have just like a semblance yeah. of a life. So dog, I totally get what you're saying. And I don't fucking blame you for trying to have your fucking Amazon or your, you know, fuck recycling, I'm going to chill out. Yeah. I, you know. I want to I want to lay down. Dude, like, you I know get how much it. work it is to take your recycling out, separate shit out. And yes, I do. Pick the most ethically sourced fucking, you know, mango and, and make sure that your <laughs> shoes aren't made out of, you know, fucking baby skin or whatever the fuck they make shit out of now. Dude, I love baby skin it's, shoes, it's but ex- I had to sacrifice it, them. Ba- baby skin shoes yeah. are as comfortable than a mother. If you ever bro. worn baby skin, you know how hard baby skin is to give up? It feels so good. It feels so it's good. So convenient. And it's so cheap. It's, it's so, so affordable. Cheap. I don't know how they're milling so many of you these to, babies you know, so quickly. You go to the, the states beside Texas, you get just get all those abortion babies, you just fucking, oh, you know? Man. Dude, man, we're, I we're love fucked. my placenta pajamas. We're, we're fucking so nice. <laughs> Placenta pajamas. That is They're disgusting. They're so comfy, bro. <laughs> hey, man. You got to get the 600 oh, dude. thread count. They're so good. I'm happy to have you on, you sick fuck. It's good to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, you as well. Yeah. I love them. But, yeah, no, that, those, those, it, 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 is, it is exhausting to try and live a, a ethical life, like, beyond yourself. Like, because, I mean, God. I guess historically you would have – ethics would have been about like how you treat the person in front of you but because we have all this interconnectedness it's like every decision i make to choose something or to eat somewhere i'm having an impact on like cool i go to a cafe but that cafe i asked for them to put almond milk in it but that almond milk is sourced by a company that you know uses that almond milk to fucking in money to invest in fucking i don't know child soldiers or some yep. shit Yep. So it's all sort of connected, and then you have to go, oh, fuck, actually, can you guys not give me the almond milk? Give me the oat milk. And they're like, oh, no, the oat milk is also child prostitution. Yeah, you're like, yeah it was okay, made you guys by... have, like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I went to... suffering milk? No, we don't have that. <laughs> suffering milk takes better. Tastes better. I went to a Delicious. fucking Israel po- protest at, like, a, a you know, free Palestine. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. And they... <laughs> What's up? I was wondering which direction you were going. <laughs> <laughs> Could you... <laughs> I went to a pro side and said, lock Palestine up. Lock them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bombs over rocks. Bombs over rocks. Yeah, so, yeah man. Fuck Palestine. <laughs> I said it. No. Yo, we need uh, our canary, our PC canary there. But uh, but no. Yeah. Uh, but no, I went to a protest that said free Palestine, to be clear. But one of the most hilarious things about it was they were doing this one part, first of all, where it was like, it was just funny inherently because like, They'd be like, yo, I'm going to say a name, and then you guys say shame. So they'd be like Justin Trudeau, and they'd be like shame, just like shit like that, you know, people who weren't taking action mm. or whatever. But then they started, like, listing companies of, like, who were whatever involved in fucking, you know, like su- supporting Israel or, like, had profit-making businesses in, Indri- in Israel. Mm. And they were listing companies, and they were like, Soda Stream, shame. And so here you are, you're like, yo, I got it. You know what a Soda Stream is, right? Yeah, you like make like soda at home, right? Boom. So here you are. You're like, yo, I got a soda stream. I'm helping the fucking environment because I like to drink bubbly water. I'm a broke ass motherfucker. Nope, you're killing fucking Palestinians. Dude, one of my simple pleasures as a fucking poor bitch is I like to have bubbly yeah. water. You know, I and and you know, as a poor bitch, I'm just fucking going out of my way to not make all these bottles. I get a soda stream. Wrong. You fuck. You're killing <laughs> Incorrect. mad Palestines. You've killed a hundred Palestines by purchasing one soda stream. You stupid idiot. Every time you fill up a soda stream, that's another Palestinian I like baby. That you you've call killed them Palestines. <laughs> no, How they're many not Palestines the idiots. Did you kill? It's oh yeah. It's the people who are buying it. Every soda stream you fill. Oh yeah. So it's just like that's what I mean. It's like and then yeah. the the common man, you know, or or, or person, whatever. Twenty twenty one, you know, the common person gets 
gets all the guilt and responsibility for all the problems caused by all the rich and fucking powerful. And, you know, we cry about it now. Oh, fuck, I can't believe it's so hard right now. But you know what is the worst part? Is like, dog, this fucking story has been happening for human existence. And then, you know, we think now that we're in the 21st century, we're all fucking advanced. It's like, no, it's like serfs and the monarchy in the medieval times. You know what I mean? It's just labeled differently. It's like billionaires yeah. and common man. I guess, I mean, and, and just to, I'm cur- like, just to look at the other side for a split second. Sure. Like, Contrary, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, no, I, I knew you were going to say that. But <laughs> I, I'm just, like, when we boycott something, you know, like, if, if, if somebody was, in fact, like, hey, look, I made, you know, I, 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 I ground up a bunch of people <laughs> and I fed that to, to cows and then I used the cow's fur to make a shirt. Most people would be like, oh, I'm not going to buy that shirt. Say word. Maybe go, well, right, it, go, which wait. seems pretty reasonable. How nice but is the shirt? But you add some extra steps in there, people will absolutely buy that shirt. Go on? Well, if you go, okay. Um, okay wait, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Just before you dive in, dive in. Yeah. Eddie is about to justify that grinding <laughs> up people and eventually yeah. through a number of steps – Feeding them to cows mm. will provide a product through which the common man will buy. So please go ahead. Absolutely. So like if you were if you were to add steps to that situation and you were like, okay, the ground up people get fed to the cows and the cows are eaten by people and those people uh, use these cannibal cows or whatever to fucking do some other shit and make, I don't know, crocodile shoes or whatever. Right. Okay. People would not. People would not protest the crocodile shoes. I don't know if I did those steps well, but you see what I'm saying. I do like see what you're saying. Even if at the bottom of a production thing, they're suffering. If it's far enough down or far enough away, we don't have an issue with it. Like, there's so much shit that's made by slaves. There's so much shit that's made by human suffering. There's so much shit where it's like there's sex trafficking right fucking there. Like the porn industry, it's like oh, fuck. that's sex. Like that's child sex trafficking. Like yeah. right, right there in so much of it, and we're just like, no, it's Pornhub's cool. They plant oh, trees, you know. Fuck, dude, you are, you're really correct. I was gonna say like, maybe you picked an example that was too intense, but then you brought up Pornhub. The, no, the, I was like, that, that, fuck. That, like, <laughs> fuck. Okay, why are you bumming everyone out, Eddie? What the fuck, man? This is a comedy podcast. No, no, this is good fuck news. You. This is good news. This is good news because because of the environmental crisis, we'll all be gone soon, and human suffering, along with human joy, oh my uh, god, will be able to rest. Holy sh! I thought I was crazy and depressed, dog. I hope you're in therapy. Holy fuck! <laughs> I am therapy, baby. No, you're. N- we talked about this last time, didn't we? Last time on the episode I that I fucked up and didn't record. So just again taking ownership but yeah boo, boo. shame tom murphy boo. shame yes yes shame. when i say when i say a name you say shame tom murphy shame Shame. there you go yeah so anyway shame on him he hates palestines <laughs> i love palestines palestinians <laughs> you said palestines so many times <laughs> like they were like frankenstein's monsters i love palestinians yeah, you know you know when i got this i was like it's it's the language that Jewish people speak, or no? I was like, it's it's written in Jewish. <laughs> yeah. Close. Is dude. that not what that what that's called? Real close. Jewanese. <laughs> okay. No. It's only Jewanese if they come from the Jewanesian part of Israel. Oh, Otherwise, it's Israel. Yeah. Sparkling Jewanese. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yes, I see. I see. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. It's got to come from the right region. Got it. Yeah, but... Uh, Otherwise, it's just white wine. Yeah. <laughs> white wine, that's my rapper name. What's up? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. You don't wine that much. Bellyache, maybe. Uh, I didn't even think of that. I was just thinking of the white part. But yeah, that's, that's oh, good. Oh, okay. Dream team. I hope so. Yeah, white wine. Yeah, yeah. he spelled it with the W H I N. Yo, I-N-E. that's yeah. actually sick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, give me another. Give me another. Oh, sorry, I'm paranoid. I always check your check on. your fucking fire alarm batteries, bro. And I always hear, but I think it's just no. I'm good. I'm good. I think it's somebody else because I I didn't have a stove on at all today, so I'm good. Yo, give me another. What's your What's your living situation, if you don't mind my asking? I live on my own in a fucking dope place. My place is sick. Oh, I bet it's big. It's I got a good deal. I pay a grand in rent every month. And Fuck. It's fucking sick. I got two balconies. It's fucking dope. Yeah. How'd you land that? Actually, that's, 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 
No, no, no. Just no, lucky. It was a... Dude, I'm honestly shook because... Hold on. Let me just check. What the fuck? Hey, folks. I'm just waiting for him to get back from checking the fire alarm battery. Oh, fucking cunt. Cleaning up the dead bodies. Oh, fuck. Almost oh back. God, dude. I'm such Man, a spaz right now. Holy shit. Indeed. Yeah, I got... Uh, no, we're good on the fire. But then, so what I did to save money, like a cheap bitch, is I used up all my laundry detergent, and then I kept the containers, and then I filled them with mm. concrete. And then I was spazzing out because I thought there was a fire, and then I ran back, and I tripped over them, and then I spilled concrete on my floor. So just a day in the Wait, life. why is there concrete in your detergent? I bought... No, I bought laundry detergent. I used it all up, whatever, cleaned my clothes. Kept yeah. the empty ones and then filled them with concrete to use as weights to work out. Okay. So you left out the weights part. You just yeah, my, said that you filled your detergent bad. with concrete. So I, that made zero fucking sense what you said. <laughs> <laughs> but no fire. We're good. We're good. No fire. Okay. Very nice. All but, right. So the, you wanted me to do the next thing I hate? Please. Yeah. Okay. Um, motherfuckers who identify as empaths. Uh, that's been pissing me off a lot this week. Oh, yo. That's, that's so a weird. good one. That. Dude, I, I think you're ahead of the curb. Guys. Dude. Yeah, no, they're fucking dickheads. Dude, great job because, you know, I've been seeing that and it started to pop up on my re my radar. But it's really interesting you brought that because, like, as a thing I hate, it, it, like, when I get a thing I hate, it kind of has to, like, pop up a couple times. And, dude, you're ahead of the curve because that's been popping up a bit. And I didn't realize until you said it. To the moon. Right now that I was like, oh, yeah. So, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you There's off. There's going to be a lot of money in this. I'm telling you right uh, now. It's going to it's gonna be it's gonna be exponential fucking growth. Buy, uh, buy empath. Are you in it's crypto? to the fucking moon. I feel like you're a yeah, crypto boy. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit of a crypto boy. Yeah. But but but, but um, I don't have enough money and I have too many other shits that I'm interested in to actually be. I'm, I'm more like a... I'm, I'm a crypto boy the, crypto way, the way like people who listen to Joe Rogan are like entrepreneurs. Do you Dude, know what I mean? Like, wow. not really. I just like enjoy the jargon and aesthetic of crypto boys Gorgeous. but i don't have anything i've got like maybe maybe like 12 dollars worth of bitcoin in a wallet somewhere that, cool. th that kind of thing G gorgeous yeah. analogy gorgeous gorgeous yeah. okay um, fuck empaths so empaths yeah fuck these guys like everybody who says they're an empath they just have a personality to dis disorder or they're a fucking asshole that, that that's all it is point of clarification like okay, empathy wait. is a normal fucking thing do you Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. Empathy is a normal No, no, thing. no. What, what, what was the – ask the clarifying question. Well, I was going to say, do you, do you, are you pissed off at people who identify as empaths or are you saying fuck empaths and you say fuck the whole concept? Um, who, both okay. because there is no such thing as empaths. Oh. So anyone who identifies as an empath is like saying – it's like saying I identify as a witch. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. No, no, you don't. No, no, you actually don't. You, you, you identify as a crazy person. There's no such thing as magic, and there's no such thing as an empath. There are people who have empathy, but you don't have a superpower. Empath is some shit from a comic book where you can like read the fucking internal state of someone. No, you have the ability, maybe like everyone else, to pick up on the social cues of a situation in order to like feel human emotion. That's a normal human function. People who say that they're empaths, usually what they're saying is. I am incapable of making a mistake about reading a social situation and reading other people's emotions. Mm. So never hold me accountable for lacking empathy, for overreacting to something, to being overly sensitive, to trying to manipulate through people pleasing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're not an emp empath. You're probably just a fucking asshole. Um, I think that's a really good read, ironically, of people. I think that's a really good read. I think the well, I am an empath. Ah, full circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's a good one. I think uh, the thing is, man, like there's fads of there's fads of like calling yourself special. I think the empath thing is like I hate it generally when people try to like when you have to tell somebody that you're really special. Usually, you're just a fucking cunt. You know, I'm an empath. Oh, I'm really quirky. Oh, I'm not like other girls. Oh, I'm kind of a nerd. All that shit, same fucking energy, man. If you are cool, if you're weird and different, shut the fuck up. It'll come through eventually because people will be like, wow, it you're really fucking eventually. weird. The truth will shine. Or people will be like, wow, you're really good at reading social cues. But like pro tip, shut your fucking mouth and it'll it'll show up. You know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Good, good read. Good read.
every, every person I've, 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 I've ever seen mention that they're using it to they're usually using it as a justification for something else. You know what I mean? Hmm. So like if they have some interpersonal conflict or something like that and they're projecting their insecurities from what another person has maybe said or um, criticizing someone else or just like, oh, see, I'm an empath. So like what people say really impacts me or like I could really read that like you're not a great energy, that kind of thing. And it's like, mm. sounds like you met a, so. like a lot of cunts, like everyone i've met who who has said they well i've only actually met one person in person one person oh, in person who said oh, that they, they like. were an empath and frankly they're they're one of the nicest person I, i've ever met they're, they're very sweet oh. they're very nice they're 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 pretty good i mean you know they're a little emotional shall we shall we say but like they're not man, manipulative they're quite friendly they're pretty like normal but how well do you know them not too well not too well mm-hmm. see yeah. that's, that's that's a big fair. difference that's yep. a lot of, a lot of Everybody, especially those types, and look, I mean, I'm half tongue in cheek joking here. Like, I don't, sure. I try not to throw people under the bus as like toxic, terrible fucking people because I think everybody's working through shit. It's fine. Respect. But I think you know, a person being like really nice and kind on the face is like that's not an indication really of fucking anything. Because once you get into a relationship with that person, that's uh, whether that be friendship, business romantic whatever that's a way better indication of what all that niceness is really about you know um yes i do know i just thought of something because i'm still yeah. interested in your love life i would like to talk about mm-hmm. that but also there isn't any oh, fuck okay but also recently i posted a clip about hitachi magic wand and mm-hmm. on this clip you commented you were like i volunteer now I'm gonna mm-hmm. be I'm gonna be transparent. I liked it that comment, but frankly I don't I didn't understand what you meant, and I want to talk about a what you meant there, and b I want to discuss Hitachi magic wands with you because I feel like you have some fucking Indeed. opinions. So I don't have a ton other than that I've seen them in a few um, I mm. guess you would say adult videos a long long while ago. That means pornos. Yeah, well I mean that's not what we call them in the states, but yes. Um, we and call uh, <laughs> we don't call them, we watch them, you know. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> got him! And, uh, and I don't, I don't remember what the fucking quote is. I was just trying to be gay in the comments, you know. It's always a fun time. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Sometimes I read too much into shit. Okay, but oh, wait, what, what could the alternative meaning have been? Well, I thought you were just trying to be gay, but like, yeah. I, I wasn't really sure because you were just like, I, I, I volunteer. And I was like, does he mean to volunteer to get his ass fucking vibrated on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what well, I was, I was like, for, yeah. Well, I was like, I don't know. Does he volunteer to, like, discuss it? I thought it was like, you were like, yeah, I volunteer to, like, test it out. And I was like, whoa, okay. What's up, dog? Yes, like, good, good to meet you. <laughs> correct. Yes, that's what I was going to aim for. Yes. Respect. Okay, but. Oh, I have my gooch, please. Yes. But, so, yeah, so I was talking to some some female friends of mine and you know i was, talking, I was mm-hmm. like yeah i can't wait to use it on ladies it's gonna be great and they were like yeah but you can also use it on yourself frankly i feel a bit weird about it i'm not ready to do that i don't think it feels weird Ooh. yeah wait, wait, wait you mean it feels weird like uh the thought of it feels weird yeah like the thought of me plugging it in and then sitting on it feels feels frankly I like too, I don't think that's too how gay you, is that how you use it well I you put you it on your gooch the air and yeah, that feels weird too. I don't want to do that position. I don't. What what feels what feels better, squatting on it or on your back? No, I wouldn't squat. You know, on it. soles to the air. Do a dog. I would sit on the couch like this, and then I'd fucking if this is the shit, I'd fucking yeah, you know, and then I'd sit on the couch. That's what I would do. Are you a, are you a front wiper or a back wiper? Man, I always have to think about this. Uh I think I wipe. Oh, you need more fiber in your diet if you I, don't know the answer to that question. Oh, the shut the head. fuck up. I think I wipe, wipe back <laughs> to front. Shitting once a month. <laughs> no, fuck you. I just don't fucking track my hand moves. You know what I do as I shit? I fucking play Sudoku. Yeah. So I'm not thinking about my fucking. Okay. But I th- I'm pretty sure I'm back to front. Yeah, I'm definitely back to front. Back to front. Yeah. Okay, so you reach you reach forward through the. Yeah, I go like I go like past your peen. Yeah, and then, and then like I bring that. it up okay, to the balls. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, yeah. Same. same what do you do? Same. That's but same. I used to, I, yeah, same. But I used to. I used to. I remember doing it the other way around. I'm not sure when the switch happened, um, but I definitely remember as a kid g- going, you know, dorsal, 
and and doing it that way. And that that worked for a while. I don't know why I switched to, oh, to Dick's side. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. I never did that. I never did that. No, because I think I was always worried. This is kind of gross, but I think I was always worried if I got up, you know, the cheeks would would close, and then you'd get all, you know what I mean? Because when you sit on the on the toilet, your cheeks are spread like a little bit, not too much, yeah. but it's spread a little bit. So I think yeah, I was appropriate amount. I think I think I was worried when I got up, the cheeks would close, <laughs> like Moses <laughs> parting the sea. <laughs> no, the cheeks would close, oh, and then it would get right, right, you know right. it would get messy. You know, you don't Whereas want. Whereas here, you don't, going this way, you can maintain the the yes. the, the, the crevice. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, got you. Like Indiana Jones, like temple door. You can just yes. hold it open with like a pole. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, no, that yeah. makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think it's. I think maybe it might have been that. I'm trying to think. I, I I I had a theory that it was because maybe a woman taught me how to wipe my ass. I oh, yeah. um, Because women women have to do it the other way because obviously you get shit in your pussy, yeah, which yeah. isn't yeah. great. The but scientific term. No, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that oh fuck. I think I had a mixed a mixed model. I think I had a mixed model. I think my dad and my grandmother separately taught me ass wiping methodologies. But probably reverse methods. Probably yes, your grandma yes. was like back uh, front to back and your dad was like back to front. I back to yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it is. I think that's how I figured it out. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I just I just absorbed that bit of an empath, you know. Yeah. Fuck, nice one. That almost I almost missed it. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Okay, give me another uh, thing you hate there, bye. Okay, wait. Let, oh yeah, don't you know? Let's see if we can't find the thing. Come on, let's do go. a better accent. Do a better Midwestern accent than that. You got it. Oh boy, I'm don't working you know. on it. Okay. What the oh, fuck Jesus. is that? Oh, that's, Jesus Christ. No, that's barely. A bit Irish there. No, you got to tone it up. No, Irish are like this, this down into those boy. Oh, if that isn't heavy, Eddie Overgold. There oh, he boy is. Oh. There he is, Eddie that's Overgold. Good, boy oh. <laughs> yeah, that's my heritage. You know what I mean? That's good. Oh, are you Irish? <laughs> oh, Murphy, yeah. I mean, I'm like about five or six generations out of Ireland. So, yeah, I'm big time Irish. Can't you see the hair? You are, you, are you guys connected to the culture at all or not really? Nah, I feel like uh, if I called myself Irish in front of an Irish person, they'd be like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Because it's like. Yeah, I mean, plus with the hair, that's like mad, right? <laughs> like, that's yeah. got to be some sort well, of. Just like you! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm closer to English than I am Our Irish. Our culture's not a costume, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they'd say fuck it in you, Irish you accent. fucking Mick. <laughs> Suck Our my dick. Our culture, culture's not a, not a costume. Yeah, it's a, is that, no, that's, Jesus. You're close. You got to practice it. Um, I, yeah. If you practice it, you practice. can get it. It's like this. Our culture's not a costume. You fucking twat. I can do a couple of British ones, kind of. Let's hear, let's hear. Um, I can, so I can do the Roadman one. Yeah, let's hear that. Decently, I think. Roadman, boy. All right. Yeah. What, what one, bro? Okay. What are you saying, bro? No, I that's can, shit. You're just saying the that's words. Good. No. As your friend. No, I'm saying it no. how they say it. No. I'm saying it how you... No, no, as... I'm chatting shit, bro. Oh, Boy, that's get, better. What's up, man? That's, that's pretty... See? That's better. On, no. That's better. That's you better. See, I'm good. I got it. Keep got going. It. What else? Come on. Allow need... it, bro. Allow it, fam. Allow it's better. You got... I think you... Yeah, allow <laughs> it. Allow it. Allow it, fam. Fam. No, fam. No, no, fam. It's not good. It's not good, fam. This is my... This I can do this one. I can do that one. That's, yeah, okay, yeah. well, fucking, you know, great job. I can do it with the accent. Uh, okay, next uh, thing I hate. Okay. Um, <laughs> people, <laughs> yeah, people who make fun of my accents. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, people who, people who make fun of my accent work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah I, 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 I feel like I need to go to a class because I feel like I attempt accents way more than my competence should justify. Because I do shitty accents all the time and everyone's like, Half the time they're like, ah, oh. and the other half of the time they're like, that's super terrible and stupid. Doesn't sound like you're doing anything. Two things, two things to say. First of all, your first accent with the Irish, a pretty fucking trash. Your roadman, I'm gonna, I'm giving you as yo as your friend. I think the people who are saying your Irish accent are good are not your friends. I think they're sugarcoating. Okay. To you. Your your roadman one, me. especially the second things you did, that was that was a lot more passable. And I think that if you Literally, if you sat in your house and you fucking just said some shit, you just started talking like that, you would get it. I think you would get it. So, well, thank you very kindly, Constable. I don't know what that one is, but <laughs> sure. something, it's something. It's something. Anyway, things you hate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, people that say no to gifts don't like those guys. Oh, don't like those guys. Oh, another I have a very mailman interesting that, one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a mailman that came by, so I've, I've got, I've got, so I've got like seven different mailmen because you know. 
I get a lot of shit shipped and, you know, Amazon sure. and all that kind of different yeah. stuff. So there's like, D, there's all different couriers and shit, whatever. There's like six of them, and I like them in a ranked order. One of them I like the most. Um, little dude complimented my hair the first time he saw me. He got lost trying to find my place, but he, he, gave, he gave me a compliment, and he was very nice. And I was like, oh, I like this. I like this dude. And so the next time I saw him, I was like, I feel, I don't know, I feel a type of a kinship with him. I feel like, you know, my place is a little bit difficult to find. He did the work to, like, you know, get to the entrance and shit like that. He deserves a reward. So I happen to have bought some extra coffee. I was like, hey, man, do you drink coffee? And he was like, yeah. So I gave him the coffee. He was like, oh, my God, thank you so much. Have a very good day. Have a blessed day, you know? And he goes off on his way. The next time I see him, he goes, my wife loved the coffee. Oh, I have to say two things. First of all. Yes. Or maybe three even. But first of all, I just want to say it's so gracious of you that you asked him if he drank coffee. Because in my my first reaction was like fuck you everybody drinks coffee but it's like that's not true some people don't so that was very thoughtful of you the other thing is, it goes without saying the gift is very thoughtful of you very nice I don't do that at all I don't think of other people ever so I just want to I want to say that and then related it's a dying art what you're doing where you give a gift without having a really serious relationship with somebody. I feel like that used to be pretty commonplace. And so I, I want to thank you for bringing that art back. So shout out to yeah, you. Yeah, it's something that needs a little bit more of I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a pre- like if, if, if we're being like for real and talking about the, the skill of gift giving and friendship and shit like that, it's definitely something that I am trying to get better at and put active pressure to, towards it. Like I, it's not, it's not something that comes naturally to me. Like I'm just a flower fucking whatever person. It's like something I've actively am like, cause I've been in relationships and friendships where I'm like, fuck, this seems to come so naturally to this person where they're just like, I've had friends and, and romantic partners where they're just like, we're going to hang out and they're just like, Hey, I was thinking of you and I got you this fucking bath bomb or whatever. Cause you yeah. mentioned it yeah. one time passing six months ago. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, that made me feel so good. So seen, so like cared for. And just those little exchanges, you know what I mean? Or like my homeboy for like a bir- like one of my birthdays, he was just like, "Hey, here's this, here's this book or whatever, some shit." I don't know. Yeah, man. And I was just like, "Fuck!" Like that, that is a thing I want to be able to receive and give love in that way. So I've been over the past, you know, few years trying to actively increase that skill and listen to folks and figure out what matters to them and think of them more and all that type of shit. So yeah, it's good shit. It's good shit. Yo, um, um, two things. Two things. Two things. Okay, wait. Three Sorry. things, maybe. I just know. I just Sorry. thought of the fucking bullshit no, I have good. to deal with at work. Two things. One is, oh yeah, um, I th- I feel like the skill that you're talking about cultivating. It's like, cause you know, I, 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 this is gonna be a double insult. I started this show okay, with a, with a double compliment. This is gonna be a double insult. I feel like yeah. you and me are pretty Front self self centered. We think about ourselves mm-hmm. a lot. We're in our own heads. I'm not self-centered. Everyone else is me-centered, nice. but I agree. <laughs> so the gift-giving thing is, I think, as you become less self-centered, and I don't mean like you, I mean like both of us, as one becomes self less self-centered, you start to, your thoughts, like other people occupy your thoughts more. And so when you're in your day, if you see an object that relates to them, it's easier to make the connection. Oh, like they said this shit, I'll pick this up. That's my mm. theory on developing the skill. The other thing is that like, I totally relate to your situation where you're like, fuck. Cause you know, you're like, it makes you feel so good when you get a nice gift. It absolutely does. I feel like also though, it makes you feel like shit. Cause you're like, yo, like, man, I didn't get you anything. I'm a fucking piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? My cousin, dude, he got, he's so good. He always gets me the nicest shit. He got me, well, I guess, no, because my mom, when we graduated, my mom got us this Dr. Seuss book. He got, she got two copies, one for each of us. Do you know the Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go? Vaguely. So it's like about growing up. And then mm. at the end of it, there's like a line and it goes something like, yo, it's like, yeah, you'll succeed 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. It's a nice little like line, you know, 98 and three quarters percent Cute. guaranteed. I, my, I had bike grips for my bike that were falling apart. My cousin got me bike grips for my bike that were falling apart. That's mm. great in and of itself. It's something I need. I bike. I love biking, you know. 
more than that, on the fucking like edges, he yeah. wrote, he got engraved or marked ninety eight and three quarters percent. Dog, oh, are you kidding to make me? A grown man, cry. Are that's you a- kidding me? <laughs> that's a qualified fucking ah, dog. Uh, callback. I'm almost gonna tear up now. You know, it's like fuck, man. And that's you go through your struggles shit. every day, you know, and then it's like I'm gonna just to see. think of me. And our connection to one another, uh, you fucking empathic son of a bitch. Yeah. And he's, young, he's, he's younger than me, and I'm like, oh, fuck you, man. Oh, you got to get your shit together, bro. Know, you got to get your shit together, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what a cunt. Yeah, so, so yeah. I, gave, I gave that dude his coffee. He comes back. He says, my oh, wife nice. loved it. And I'm like, fuck, I like you so much, and you like me, and you're like, you're my mailman. You know what I mean? Like, we're th- this is like an old school, like, 1950s wholesome relationship like me and the mailman you know we, we know each other how's the wife and kids type of shit yep. the other dude don't fucking like this guy I don't know if he's fucking autistic I don't know what the fuck is he seven mean, but he's because there's six is he seven on the list you know is he bottom there's six mailmen six or seven mailmen there's six, there's six mailmen he no no he's he's 100 the last on the fucking right. list I hate this guy cool, 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 cool. um he's because first of all he's got one of those he's got one of those he's got like a policeman face. All right. Shows up to the door in fucking sunglasses and shit. You know cunt. what I mean? Full that cunt. That kind of shit. Yeah. Full cunt. Yeah. F- yeah. Fucking dickhead. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. He's a little bit big. You know what I mean? He's kind of big. You know what I mean? And you got to be Full more cunt. friendly when you're big. Yeah. Because I'm like, fuck this guy. You know? Yeah. And he walks around with a little bit too much confidence for someone who's my employee. You know what I mean? Because yes. uh, he's, he does the pickups for me. So I regularly schedule to have him come pick my shit up to go do whatever. Yeah. And uh, one Check time they were late and I got mad at the other dude. And he goes, just to let you know, it wasn't my fault that we were late because my manager didn't give me the thing. And I'm like, hey, I don't give a shit. Don't care at all. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. And he's cool like, customer. Yeah. Okay, yep. You know what I mean? Good for you. Yeah. So don't like the guy at all. But I'm like, you know what? I have a habit. Of wait, sorry. Wait, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Sorry. Wait. What, 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 the, what? the late story, did that make you like him l- less? Or are you just saying like, yo, this was an instance where he fucked up and I was really cool about it? Dude, don't play with the the, the the string so much. You're gonna hear it on the recording. You fuck. Oh, shit, Too I don't late. know how, how much have I been doing it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's been happening yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, the late thing was just an instance of no. The, the the fact that he gave that excuse or presented it to me, and the way that he presented it to me, just that that contributed to my dislike for him in general. And just I don't know, his body language is very standoffish. It's very much like it's just unfriendly. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep. And it's not, and it's not, there's not the, and look, maybe, maybe this is an arrogance on my part. There's not enough of the deference that I would think for the fact that he is performing a service for me that I need done correctly. It's, 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 yeah, there's a little bit of resentment I feel in his tone, but a, a, a mistake that I often make is, you know, I project my own insecurities or my own issues on the folks, of course. Who doesn't? And man. I, yeah, and I definitely, you know, will draw a conclusion about a person way too quickly off of a handful of, of interactions. Yep. And I don't know this person. Yep. Sure. But it's not necessarily my job to unpack every fucking thing. So sure. I'm just thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe there's something I can do to help foster this. Like, I, I do think that a lot of times when there's like a rough start to something or a little bit of conflict, leading with love can help. You know what I mean? Somebody that you don't like at work and you're just like, hey, let's, do you want to come to, to drinks with us? Like, that kind of shit can smooth off a lot of stuff that's shyness can come off as, you know, standoffish, et cetera. So. I happen to have two of those free coffee bags that I had. Gorgeous. Gave one to my favorite guy. He oh. says, yes, comes back. My wife loves it. Beautiful. This guy, I'm like, you know what? Let me be nice to this guy, and maybe that'll help us form a relationship that's more friendly and respectful. Good. I go, hey, man, do you drink coffee? He goes, no. I go, have a good day. And that was the fucking interaction. <laughs> okay. So, okay, but after, after all that buildup, <laughs> he didn't refuse a gift. <laughs> He didn't say yeah, he fuck did. your gift. Were you holding it like this though? Like, were you holding it from like, yo, do you drink coffee? Or were you just showed up at the door and you're like, what's up, dog? You drink coffee? Did you? No, no, was I, no, it I visible? Made, I made it clear it was a gift. I made it clear it was a gift because I said, do you drink coffee? Because I've got some spare from a previous shipment. Okay. And he was like, no. Co- okay, okay. Crucial detail. Crucial detail. This changes things. No. Okay. Which is like, I get it. Sure. Maybe he doesn't drink coffee, but here's my thing. I'm giving you an olive branch. I think it's your position within that to go, yeah, I drink coffee. I'm not going to watch you fucking drink it. Just accept it. It's free fucking coffee. Or I guarantee you there's somebody in your life who does drink coffee. You would go, oh, why? Maybe. Uh, my wife does. I-, I don't drink coffee, but my daughter loves loves coffee. And then you have a fucking human connection with another person. This fucking dickhead goes, no, I don't. 
Have a good one. Okay, so Fuck here's so first of all, yes, totally on board, on board with you. Here's my counter offer to what I would do okay. in that situation. If I was dickhead mailman, yo, do you yes. drink coffee? No, but thank you so much for offering to give me that because that's so nice of you. And I'd be like, I really appreciate nah. You know, something something like that. Motherfucker I, didn't even say thank you. I'd make it clear. I'd be like, that's, you know, to offer to give essentially a stranger a gift that's incredibly sweet. I would say some shit like that. You know what I mean? Even if I didn't accept it. So, so yeah. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Big yeah. Guy. Don't like this guy. Yeah. Don't like this guy at all. I have, I have a feeling we're going to have, we're going to have an issue at some point in the future. I have to say, it feels like that things I hate was not, I hate people who don't accept gifts. I feel like it was like, I hate this one fucking mailman. <laughs> No, no, because I have mo- uh, I have multiple instances of that. I had a previous roommate, and I was like, one day I was making burritos, and I was like, hey, do you want a burrito? And he was like, no. Who doesn't want a fucking burrito? Yeah, I don't know. Everyone wants a burrito at all times. Yeah. You are choosing to opt out of reciprocal gift giving, which is a pro-social shared behavior. You know dude, what I mean? Dude, You're dude. refusing that situation. You're as insecure Fuck as you. I am, and I fucking love it. What's up, brother? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, man. All day, every day. <laughs> Come back to no, the fuck States. That. Fuck Australia, dude. Let's hang out in Atlanta. Fuck your fucking uh, down under bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. Next week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%, dude. Uh, yeah. I'll see you. Just uh, meet me at the clock tower. I'll be right I'll there. I'll be there. Great. Yeah. yeah. Sick, dude. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what else you got? That's it. That's the whole list. You said three. I gave three. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, That's let's I do. I, don't, I really don't hate much. I mean, yeah, no, I don't hate anything. Bullshit. I love everybody and everything. Bullshit, you insecure fuck. I know you got more, but that's okay. Nah, man. Um, Even though you said that, I love you. It's okay. Wow. You're safe here. Wow. It's all good. Wow. Yeah. Good job. I'm. I'm. I'm honestly. Yeah. Nice work. That was a good response. Okay. What does my negative ass have? Well, you know, I actually have something positive. <clears throat> oh, let's do it. Think okay. So, speaking of things I hate and being insecure. I used to, like, probably still do, but, like, if my friends said some shit, like, for example, in the group chat the other day, I got roasted because I was, like, I was looking for underwear recommendations. And so I was, like, yo, like, mm. what all you homeboys wear? And they were, like, yo, I wear this brand, this brand. Like, <laughs> It's a wild question. <laughs> why? Is that wild? I, it's not. It, it shouldn't be, but it definitely, like, yo, what do you – what are you guys? What's holding you guys' dicks up? What's going on? What's, it's not about the dicks, you, gotta, you fucking you weirdo. Hug, hug me down there. What's up? What no, are you guys wearing? no, you <laughs> don't make it weird, Eddie. You fuck. All right, but I was what like, are you, guys you know, doing in? what? Yeah, what is holding your dicks up? Because I want to. I want to know. But I was like, I want that. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so, but they were all like, oh, yo, I wear boxer briefs. I wear boxer briefs, and I wear boxers. So I was like, they were all giving me boxer briefs recommendations. And I was like, dog, I wear boxers. And then one of my homies, he was like, yo, you're 30, grow up. And it was just like a little, a little, a little rip, you know, a little, a little chirp. I got so fucking triggered. I was like, fuck. I just, I don't, I don't know. It just, it just fucking, you know, I don't know. But anyway, after all, like I used to back in the day, I used to, re- I would respond with like maybe another chirp or I'd respond and be like, fuck you. Like that hurt my feelings. You know, like mm. I just get butthurt about it. Some now I'm like, dog, I'm not going to respond to this. Recently, another friend of mine, we were talking about like doing, um, doing psychedelics at some point. Mm. And I was like, I was like, I don't know if I'm down, but like, I'm open to the discussion, you know, convince me kind of thing, sell me. And she was like, well, it's something you have to be really game for or not. And it just pissed me off because I was like, like, I've I'm already game? done mushrooms. Did you think I'm not game? Yeah, exactly. Like, I've, I've done this shit. I just, I'm not sure at this moment. <laughs> so like, don't fucking tell me like what I need to talk about. You fuck. <laughs> like, I, I'm fine. I'm saying just convince me. You know, I was, I was like, I fuck do you. It. Stupid I'm bitch. Not pussy. Like, I can fucking do it. My yeah, brain is like, yeah, yeah. My ego can die. I don't even like it. <laughs> I don't mind. That was funny. So I was That's like, so insulting. So I was I don't like, know if you can handle it, buddy. It's uh, pretty intense. Yeah. It, 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 she didn't say that, but that was kind of, it was like something you had to be really And I, I was like, uh, hey, fuck, you know? So, but like before, I, I, I would write back and I would say something that like showed my insecurity or whatever. Now I'm just like, whatever. 
I just fucking ignore it. I give myself, I don't know, 15 minutes. After a while, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, you know. I'm like, fuck that that's person or whatever. So, you know, that's a positive thing. And it, it's to stop responding to what bugs me, you know, talking about insecurity and therapy and all that fucking bullshit. And yeah, so it feels good. So pro tip. I don't know if you good do it, bro. you know. you're. You, I can tell, you know, with respect, you're insecure too. We're talking about insecurities. Everybody who's not insecure. I don't know where you're at in your mental journey, you know, if you're on this tip or not, but. Which which tip are we talking about? The exactly. responding like, to things you... that that bugs you. Like I don't know if you're like when you when somebody says some shit, you're like, yo fuck you man, fuck you, because I was on that tip. No, you know, no even like I, a year I, ago. I definitely so. hold off on that now. In the past, maybe, but I because so many times I'm so fucking wrong about Dude, a thing. Yeah, like preach. so often my initial imp- like if 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 I if I took a five dollar bill out of my right pocket and then put it in my left pocket. And then later that day, put my hand in my right pocket. I would immediately assume that someone had robbed me. Yo, I'm so I'm so with you. That I, I would immediately go, which fucking dick? Oh my fucking! I bet it was. Oh man, I bet it was that fucking waiter. Yeah. Oh shit! I bet it was my best. I bet it was my wife. Yeah, it was my yeah, fucking wife. You. She stole my goddamn uh, five dollar bill. She's been waiting for this moment for this, the last twenty fucking years. That's the, a, immediately where my brain goes. Yeah. But I give myself a second. And I go. Oh shit! I I put it in my other pocket. You know, yeah, 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 like yeah. there wasn't somebody out to get me. Dude, you go in a hole. So uh, I hold off on that. You like vilify somebody completely. You're like that fucking piece of shit cunt. They stole my fucking five. I knew they were totally evil. I knew they were worse than Hitler. All this shit, and then you're like, oh yeah, we're, mm. yeah, 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 and, yeah, all the time. But I've gotten I've gotten very good. Like it's it's always such a relief when I'm like, oh my god, the answer is so like obvious. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, every time I come in, that dude never stands up and fucking greets me. And then eventually you're like, oh, dude, he's fucking paralyzed. Like that motherfucker <laughs> can't stand. He's not, it has nothing to do with you. Like you're not the center of, shit, sorry. You're not the center of anything. Shout I've out. That, it happened in my mind so many times. Shout out to you because I, I didn't know where you were going with that. And that got me off guard that paralyzed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fucking broke legged fuck. Why don't you stand up? <laughs> <laughs> dude i just did a rant on <laughs> i feel like you would appreciate this i just did a rant on uh i went for a walk and i was walking off of the path because i'm like super hypersensitive to like sidewalk etiquette and i'm not mm. trying to be a cunt who like blocks the sidewalk so i was walking on like off of the path on the right side australia drives on the right right or they drive on the left they drive on the right side of the road Wait, wait, wait. Oh, me, me. We drive on uh, the left. You drive on the left. Yeah. Okay. Which so, is opposite to the states. Yeah. So the states. So the states. You know, you drive on the right. You walk on the right. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I was walking according to traffic laws on the sidewalk because it's what you should do. Like you treat traffic like you do a road, so that you know there's like two mm-hmm. lanes coming and going. I was walking way off to the right. I wasn't even walking on the on the path. I was walking off of the path on the grass. I hear behind me, excuse me, sir. I turn around. There's a blind guy with a stick. Oh. And there's a fucking helper. And the helper looks like a fucking shit nerd. And I'm immediately pissed because I'm walking off of the path. I know homeboy is blind, but I'm off the path, dog. Like, I'm, I'm mad at the helper guy. because Wait, like, what was your crime? What, 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 why were they, what's going on? And who said, excuse me? The, the helper? helper. The helper said, excuse me. The boy servant? Okay. Yeah. yeah. He was like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. And then, you know, being the kind, generous person that I am, I said, in a bit of a sarcastic voice, I said, oh, sorry. And I moved further onto the grass. And then they walked past. And then the fucking cunt helper, he had the gall to be like, don't worry about it. Suck my dick. So I was just like, you know, dog, wh- I'm off the path. I get that the guy's fucking blind. Why don't you go on the path, man? Why do you have to fucking also, step right where I'm st- stepping? Can't blind people go around a little bit? That's what I'm saying. The joke like, I made, I was I like, get, what are you, fucking you know, legs broke too? You know, fuck. like, God, fuck you, man. Go around. Yeah, yeah. I get if you've got, if you're, if you're by yourself and you're doing the fucking cane shit, cool. It kind of makes sense for me to move out the way. Yes. You're having a hard time anyway. You yes. can't even see what's going Preach. on. Preach. You've got a fucking helper. The Preach. helper can be like, yo, this is a pathway that's shared. It's a two directional fucking sidewalk. Let's, let's, 
hey, you know, Ray, let's fucking get over to one side. There's somebody coming. And what the fuck is your point there? Like, yo, why are you there? And even like if I was on the lane of the path and they didn't want to go into oncoming traffic, you know, you know, to do the passing lane. Yeah, I get that. Excuse me, sir. I don't want to go into on- oncoming traffic. Sure. Dog, I'm off of the path. I'm off roading, you fuck. Like, what more, you know, do you want? Of course, this is so selfish. But yeah, fuck you, you piece of shit. No, you know? it's not. No, it's not. Wait, look, if, if we were talking about, you know, asking a blind person to get to one's, and I don't know how wide sidewalks are in, in Canada, but like, if about we three were feet, asking three or four feet. To, Maybe five. Oh, that's, feet. Why, that's a that's a that's a two lane that's a two lane walking path. Two lane. Two that's lane. for people to go left side. You know, you go you're going in two directions. Two lane. That's two what the fuck that's for. Two lane. Two lane. You can even have people biking on that. Yeah. So people do. This, and people do. I imagine. If you got if you were telling him you know get to one side, I could see it's that's a little bit contentious. I could argue it either way. But if you're not even on the fucking pathway, not and this motherfucker path. is saying, yo, give me some more of the shoulder. Yeah, dog. He's the fucking dickhead. The he's helper the is the fucking dickhead. That's insane. That's like if someone that's like if someone was in a fucking handicap stall and they were like, yo, get out of your fucking stall because I want to be able to stretch my legs while I shit into your fucking stall. Yes. No. Great analogy. That is what it's like. But you know what the only difference there is? Is it's the fucking helper. No problem with the blind person. Blind homie's just along for the ride, you know? Shit fuck helper. He's the cunt. Excuse me, sir. Fuck you, man. Excuse these nuts. Fuck you. Go on the path. I'm off the path. Fuck you. Clearly, I'm triggered. How do you think it would have gone if you were like, um, yeah, sorry, what's going on? Like, if if you had just said that. Just like, stop walking. Oh, sorry, what do you mean? Well, what I said, I was like, you know, I was like, why do you have to put blind homie in a conflict situation? What if I'm a fucking psychopath crazy fuck and you say, excuse yeah. me, and I say, you're fucking excused and I beat the shit, beat the blind guy to death with his fucking stick. You know what I mean? Like, You got to be careful with those blind boys, though. <laughs> they have the their double powers. They got powers the, bl- the blind strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blind, blind strength and reflexes is, is, is something else. And they already, they're always carrying a weapon, you know? Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's test that theory, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See how... <laughs> Uh, let's local, test that. local Montreal let's, let's comedian that. beats the shit out of ten fucking blind people. <laughs> ten, ten people standing trial for that's a good sample size. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think you beat ten pe- ten homeless sorry not homeless blind people's asses. I think you can same thing. You can register for some sort of organization. I'm not sure the Guinness Book probably. Hey <laughs> oh oh, there's got to be a record for that. They don't give re- records for hate crimes, do they? I fucking hope so because it looks like I'm in the running. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yo, dog. We got to wrap up. That was an hour. Indeed. Dude, that was more than a pleasure. I'm very happy to have you on. That was Thank good. Very we we got to come on. back. I want to come back on your show. So please invite me back on because I had a lot of fun with your, That's with your team. That's not actually how invitations work, but absolutely. Wow. Touche. <laughs> Touche. So fair. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Fucking asshole thing to say. <laughs> Hey, um, you know, very graciously, I'd like for to invite myself to invite you to invite me to come over to your house. That's that's my family. I don't blame a lot of shit on my genes, but I will blame yeah. that on my mom's side of the family. Me and my cousin that I mentioned, we call that the Laframboise shit. It's just I don't know entitlement, bravado, whatever you want to call it. Oh uh, yeah, I want to come to that. So uh, I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll see you at your house. Okay. Uh, see you in your private residence. Excuse me? Like, what? Anyway, yeah, so I'll see you on your show. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll get you back on here. I'm going to do a buffer. You know, you got to do a buffer when you have guests come back. So, like, I don't know, maybe, like, three months. That's what I'm picturing. But I think we'll get you back on here. because it'd, it'd be fun to get the whole fucking waving the red flag on here, too. Do, do a little round yeah. table. That'd be fun. So. Three amigos. Three amigos. <laughs> How do you guys all know each other, by the way? Just Atlanta, man. You know, it's like that. Just fucking, yeah. All right. Okay. Word. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, Eddie Overgold, what a fantastic guest. Well-spoken, articulate, amazing vocabulary. Fuck you, Alvin. Eddie's is better. Fuck you. Um, Thank you. I'm Murphy, you know, beautiful fucking hair. Hitachi master. Thank you. (laughs) Ancient samurai pussy master. That's my rap name, Ancient Samurai Pussy Master. <laughs> Known across the lands. Um, do you have some shit you want to plug besides? Well, I mean, yeah, plug, plug, waving oh, the yeah, red flag. Yeah, man. 
absolutely, man. Like follow, follow waving the red flag. Follow us on YouTube. It's waving the red flag everywhere on TikTok, on YouTube, all that. But check out the YouTube. Come watch the episodes. Are you on Twitter? Are you tweeting? Which we tweet a little bit. We tweet a little bit. Okay, but TikTok, YouTube, Insta, those are the big ones. Twitter a little bit. TikTok, YouTube, Insta, Indeed. those are the big ones. Spotify, of course. You know, homie blew. To homie blew up on TikTok. Seventy five k followers. I was so shook, dude. I think I'm shadow banned because I used to get around a grand views per per mm. video. Now I'm like lucky if I get four hundred. You know what I mean? And my followers yeah, are decreasing. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not just like funny anymore. But Instagram is. Instagram is doing okay. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because you no, talk about wild. Our main account is actually, I think our Instagram, or sorry, not Instagram, our main TikTok account is, like, because my personal account is there. But our main one, I think it also might be shadow banned because there was a steep reduction in, in views. That's what I'm saying. So I, I don't know, like, yeah. yeah I, but, you know, it, it happens. It, it happens. It's yeah. okay. I guess you just keep you keep throwing down, you know what I mean? I don't know. You just anyway. keep going, you know what I mean? The algorithm. That's the algorithm, yeah. It's our new God. So you happens. gotta pray to him regardless Fuck. of whether or not he keeps giving your kids cancer. You that, just keep praying to him. That that fucking is... asshole. <laughs> Yo, you got deep in about two sentences. That was a wild holy shit. <laughs> Easy. Okay, brother. Well, it was so great to talk to you. Uh, apologies again for my fucking disorganization. So sorry about that. But I'm very happy we made it on. I'm happy your appointment got canceled. I wasn't like I I hope it wasn't like you know, a sexy appointment. I hope it was something mundane, but uh, yeah, um, it was. It wasn't sexy. In uh, fact, I, I canceled it because I was like, I actually don't want to go to this thing. Yeah. Oh well, fuck you. I'm very flattered. Look at that. In fact, Absolutely. well, I don't know if it was me or because the lady was ugly, but either way, I'm fucking. It uh, wasn't. It was. <laughs> it wasn't a lady. <laughs> it wasn't a romantic engagement. It's fucking eight in the morning. Oh, yeah, Australia. See, what I can't. Is, what is wrong with you? Well, I thought you just—I thought you just announced you were bi on air on the show right here. I was like, "Wow, coming oh, out of the yeah. closet." Hey, hey, look, because you like I wasn't would, a lady. I, I'm never—I'm never saying no. You know what I mean? Not never saying no, but you know what I mean. Like I said, you know, never say never. Type yeah, of situation. no, I get it. But I get yeah, it. So there's always there's always a possibility of things. But uh, no, it has nothing to do with anything romantic or anything. I said I have an appointment. Uh, what, I thought maybe on? it was like a you know we're a, oversexed, a, a, man. A, a, we are oversexed as a co- culture. Oh, I said an appointment. I I have business to do. It's, well, it's it's like a, a dick enough. appointment, but it's like a vagina <laughs> appointment. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah, you get it. okay. Sorry. Anyway, regardless, I'm super happy that got canceled so that we can hang out more. Um, thank you thank, so thank much you kind of, for coming on the show. It was so fucking rad. You're an excellent conversationalist. Yeah, vocabulary on point, articulateness on point. Um, Eddie Overgold, Waving the Red Flag, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, a little bit on Twitter. So shout out to you, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for coming on. Thank you, one trillion. Yeah, much one appreciated. Trillion. Word. Have okay. Love you, buddy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, peace, team. Peace. Mwah, mwah. Uh, we'll fucking see you guys next time. Au revoir. Au revoir, my friend. Au revoir. Peace, peace, peace.